Finish the summer on safari. Heather Lake live at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park with an up close look at some of the wildlife there. I love going on safari up there. Hi, Heather. Hey, yes, yeah, so and we're going on our very own safari this morning. We're taking you along. So wake up the kiddos, bring them to the front of the screen before maybe they're going to school. Who knows, right? Because there's a lot of kids starting back to school, but there's still a couple of weeks left, days left of summer for a lot of kids. Sasha, I already see some rhinos out there. I see a little baby rhino out there. Zach, can you spot the rhinos? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. We have Holly and Muezi, our one year old rhino. So cool. So as we kind of get to see all of the animals, we'll try not to be as distracted so we can get some of the information out over here. And Zach is going to try to keep himself steady. But this is so much fun because the safaris are a little bit different right now. Mm -hmm. I like to explain to people if they're going to bring the whole family out, what the experience is like. So if you've got a little three-year-old, you can put them out here now. It used to be six. So Absolutely. bring out the littles and everybody. Yes. So three and up can come onto one of these open air safari trucks and go into the African savanna, get up close and personal to the wildlife, like our rhinos, antelope, cape buffalo, and then of course the giraffe, everyone loves them. Yeah, um, we used to be able to feed the giraffe. We're not doing that right now because of the restrictions, but this is an hour tour that you get to go on. Extended hours at the zoo right now as well. Yes, and then this weekend we're celebrating Kenya days, so highlighting animals from Kenya like our rhinos and giraffe, and we also have special twilight tours starting in the late afternoon, and at the end of the tour you go to a beautiful overlook, enjoy a snack and a beverage, just a wonderful way to enjoy the animals. The cool thing about all of these places like the safari park and the zoo is they're never the same because there's always yeah. new animals and new things to learn about them. Do you have a favorite? I love the giraffe. We have okay. a baby out here at two months old, Aww. and mom is doing a great job. It's her first kid, so it's fun to see those different experiences, you yeah. know, because each mom is going to be different, each kid is going to be different, so yeah. it's fun to, to see all that. Yeah. Um, when we go around this area, which if, if you want to, you can keep driving. Who's our driver this morning? Karen. Karen, how's it go? Oh, there's her hand. She's waving to us. <laughs> um, We're going to try to get close to Holly and Muezzi, okay. our rhinos. Hold on, Zach. Here we go. I really do feel like we're on a safari. What's the kind of feedback that you get from people who take this out for the very first time? Because it must be pretty surprising to be out here with the animals this close. Absolutely. It's such a unique experience because you really feel like you're in a true African savanna. You are immersed in into their world and you get to see their natural behaviors and just what they would be doing every day. And then of course a mother and baby, how special is that? Yeah. How do they react when they see people up close and personal? Because most of them, right. I mean especially babies, <laughs> they've grown up in this environment. They kind of know all about it. They're totally used to it. And as you can tell Mwezi, <laughs> our baby, he doesn't even care that we are driving right up to him. And yeah. mom is just in the background watching him and saying, okay, I see you over there. But yeah. he thinks he's pretty big and tough. Yeah. But look, his ears are perked up. So he's noticing us, but he doesn't care too much. It's so funny to see these animals up close and personal. I always look at a rhino and I'm like, it's very much like a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Right. Yes, they're definitely very prehistoric looking. And they get such a, you know, interesting reputation of being, you know, mean or aggressive, but they're so peaceful. They spend most of their day either napping, eating, rolling in the mud. So they're very easy to be right next yeah. to. Oh my gosh, he's so <laughs> cute. Hey buddy, are you curious? Come on. <laughs> Come say hello. He's like, I'm just wondering if you have my food. Where's my breakfast, right? And it's amazing. Holly, you know, the mother, she's about 4,000 pounds. And as Whoa. she walks around, you know, you don't really hear her moving because their feet are so padded. So it's pretty quiet even when they move around. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we're going to hang out here. <laughs> In the next hour, we're going to tell you a little bit more about Kenya Days, how you can bring out the family and enjoy that this weekend because we have a lot going on. Say hello, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Rezzy. How's it going? Do they know their names? I'm wondering, Shali and Raul, isn't that an interesting thing? It's like, you know, like obviously a pet would know their name, but these are not pets. <laughs> right. There are some animals that respond to their names. I don't know if little Muezzi exactly knows, but he is definitely curious about us. Yeah. He's very he curious. Like I think he's just like Raul. He's searching for his morning Babar? breakfast. He's, he's like, right. Where you, what you got for me? <laughs> Get over here. Do you what? remember Babar? Wasn't Babar an elephant? Hi, buddy. What's Babar? Oh, good God. Hi, buddy. <laughs> See that rhino? You are Remember curious. That bar? The elephant? Was that bar? <laughs> oh, oh, he is getting awfully close oh, to the Oh, look at mama. Let me just is this check. normal? Oh, yeah, it was an elephant. Yeah, mama's, yeah, mama's, mama's getting elephant. a little belly scratch. This is scratch. a rhino. No, it's look close. At how it's okay. It's a rhino. Is this, is this normal for them to get this close to the cars? 
Oh man, Hi. is it is it normal for them to get that close? I want I want so badly to get out and just walk amongst the animals, isn't it? So it's so tempting. What could go wrong? What, what could, could possibly go wrong? Go wrong. Please yeah. do not give that idea to anybody, because we've had unfortunately oh God, to cover a few of those things on the Are stories on the news trouble? here. The oh. people that go into the animal enclosures. Hi. Uh -oh. oh, here comes the other one. Oh, I'm that's fascinated you know, the, the, the by this. Come over here, baby. Please zoom in. <laughs> oh, this zoom is good. In. Hi. Like Sorry, wanted... Chrissy, I'm fascinated by this. Don't you worry, I am too. I know. Oh, oh wait, come over here. Hi, guys. Where are you going? <gasps> Every time Hi, I've buddy. been on these tours, the animals are sleeping. <gasps> I wonder if he thinks it's weird that I'm talking to him like a baby. <laughs> wow, look, he's right there. That's so beautiful. Can you ask the lady, are they doing this because at this hour they're probably used to getting fed or something? And they think maybe there's yes, food? Yes, yes, a hundred percent, Raul. You are right on the money because I've actually done this oh, with the keepers in yeah, the past, yeah. and they do know that eventually their food is coming. Look at that. <laughs> he walked up to you. He basically gave you the rhino version. Of, are you going to give me food? No, I'm walking by. Yep, they're done with us. It's like our they're dog. done. Like the dog just wants food. <laughs> The rhino just wants food. Heather, thank you. That was fascinating. Oh, I yep. enjoyed that. The Beautiful rhinos. animals. All right.